This method can help to answer key questions about photovoltaics reliability, about the combined effect of illumination, electrical loads, humidity and temperature. Compared to standard monostress reliability tests, this method has the following advantages. Exposure to combined stresses, reduced testing time and real-time performance monitoring of the device. The combination of stresses can be tuned to simulate uh, local climates such as polar and desert conditions. Electrical biases can be tuned to simulate effects such as personal shading. A real-time performance measurement allows faster and simpler testing. It learns us a lot about the process of degradation and it allows better prediction or prevention of the degradation mechanisms occurring in devices. Demonstrating the procedure will be Henk Stijvers, Klaas Bakker and Caroline Salou, all from Salience. To begin the procedure, deposit 0.5 microns of molybdenum on a soda lime glass substrate by direct current sputter coating in a bilayer stack sequence. Then use a solution of 1 molar sodium hydroxide and 0.3 molar potassium ferrous cyanide to electrochemically etch a 6 mm wide strip in the molybdenum at the edge of one long side. Next, deposit a 2 micron thick CIGS absorber layer by coevaporation in a vacuum chamber under a copper, indium, gallium, and selenium atmosphere. Then, deposit 50 nanometers of cadmium sulfide on the sample by chemical bath deposition. Use radio frequency sputtering to deposit 50 to 65 nanometers of.